Thank you, Dr. Kanakdurga. So, uh, she has uh, stressed the importance of, uh, you know, identifying openings, being alert to the latest frontiers of research on all fronts and uh, thinking long term, trying to develop a vision and for this, uh, I personally would like to add the point of Id being able to identify centers of, uh, you know, so, uh, which are at the forefront of uh, such work and also being able to identify mentors who are, uh, who could, uh, you know, lead you ahead, hold your hand and lead you ahead. Dr. Manisha, all this calls for uh, a lot of interdisciplinary coordination and uh, collaboration. Since uh, you being a nephrologist, what is your experience? We have to prepare our students to face, uh, you know, the healthcare delivery systems 20 years ahead of na uh, from now. So, uh, do you, what would you say about it? Uh, as Madam has already pointed out, technology is playing a major role in advancement of medicine, even in the field of uh, nephrology. Uh, she talked about robotic surgery. So nowadays the robots are inserted inside the body and especially in the field of gastroenterology, robotic surgery has become very common. Even in case of kidney transplantation, now the donor's body need not be open to take out the kidney. So the thing is, I mean, the robotics play a role there with a small incision, small scar, the kidney is out. So technology is every place. And that's a very good field that after completing MBBS, you have certain opportunities. One thing is, you have to have a very clear decision in your mind whether you want to continue in a clinical field. For as for instance, I have done. Clinical field, he already pointed out, is glamorous. And he said one thing was about the money, but that's not the end of it. Money is there. There is more money in IT and banking. But you may cho choose clinical because whatever research he does, it would be meaningless, uh, meaningless if somebody doesn't apply it clinically. So he doesn't get the satisfaction of seeing the patients and treating them. With his research, I am able to use that research for the betterment of the patients and I am able to... Yeah, I mean, a few weeks, MD medicine, MD surgery, 
surgery, but there are multiple things. We do know there are some 30, 40 options in which you can do your MD or MN. And some of them are not directly related to clinical options. One of the things is MD in hospital administration, which is a very good thing. So I think you should be aware of all the options before you take a decision. But the right time to decide is now. Decide whether you want to be in clinical field, whether you want to be a researcher, whether you want to be in hospital administration, because this is the point where you need to branch out. You cannot do your MD, you may do that MD and later on branch out, but you'll be wasting your time. So I think decide once you finish your MBBS, which speciality you are interested in. Each has its positive points and negative points, but don't get I mean, washed away by all those things. Just listen to what you want to do, what your heart says. Do not try to impress other people. Whatever you want to do, do it with conviction. And that will only happen if you pursue what you want to do. Not because somebody told but that was better and this was better. The cartoon which you saw initially. So I think you should be aware of all the options before you make an informed choice. So that's what my feeling is. The time to decide is now, once you finish your MBBS. Be very clear on that.